Welcome back to Admission Hub. My name is Mia and today one of our clients is visiting our office to pick up their study permit. So let's hear their story together. Today we are joined by Sigida. And he is here to collect for his brother's study permit application. So sweetheart, can you tell us about your brother? What's his name? Yeah, my brother in name is Naresh. How old is he? He's 34 years. Okay, and where are you from? We're from India. Great, so sweetheart, could you tell us what made you choose Admission Hub? How did you find us? So we are browsing through online, seeing what are the good uh, study consulting companies. So I saw Admission Hub and I saw good reviews and I also saw a couple of uh, reviews where students really uh, was happy with their application and how the process goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went for uh, you know, a couple of uh, reviews mm -hmm. and I thought this is a good one. Uh, oh, thank so, you, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> so could you tell us what was your experience during the consultation? Um, what made you decide to go for us? Aside from the Google review. So the first thing what we did was we had an uh, initial call with the uh, counselor and uh, you were there at the time. So we were uh, having questions like how the process works because it's the first time we're doing coming inside Canada applying study permit. We all know that people apply from outside. Mm -hmm. We don't have about inside and after talking to you and my vision hub, we realized that we have a good options there by doing inside and that uh, good explanation and the process. We were very, very impressed the way how you explain. That's why we thought we go with that mission. Thank you so much for the feedback. Also, could you share us what was the feedback for the Google review that you saw? Can you just walk us through that process? Yeah. So Google review was a couple of students mentioned that how they started with with no idea how they are going to be studying here, how long will you be there. How much time it takes to get the study permit so i saw the inputs how you were giving student mm -hmm. how much uh, time it takes or what are the process the instructions those are very structured way how you're explaining things so that gives us more clarity that this is the right place to uh, you know proceed with the study permit yeah all right and can you tell me was it hard to apply outside canada especially yeah. yeah, it's very hard because we have to support some funds. We have to show that through where we have to get the ILDS score very mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are less chances uh, for the age, the person like if you age is more than 30 years, mm -hmm. you'll have less chances of getting a uh, study permit. Mm -hmm. So outside Canada, it's very hard. Unless he is very engaged and has a good score in IELTS all this stuff, then he has good chances. But knowing the fact that the person with the experienced person with uh, age about 30, 35 years is very hard for me here. Yeah. Mm, I see, I see. And also, he was not required to get the IELTS. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the one good point. We see that uh, coming inside Canada and uh, going through the process, uh, we don't require IELTS. And it's a uh, good way that he has to go to the English course and you know slowly he adjusts to the uh, conditions here and then apply for study so which is a good way pathway program which we like it that's how we've opted for inside that's good and last but not the least um what was your overall experience with admission hub uh, it was good uh anytime when we reach out uh, for the support or clarification we got the answers right away and we know what to expect uh, in the process so we were happy with the overall end to end process and it's uh, if you think, if you see overall process, easy and straightforward. Only thing is, initially we don't we have a lot of clarifications and doubts. So that is one thing that we have really helped to clarify time to time, and so that made it easier overall experience wise. So can we are you, happy. Yeah. <laughs> can you just quickly share what were your doubts? So initially, uh, we, uh, the process why we don't know uh, if the college requires certain criteria where. Uh, we need to uh, make sure that before applying and recent uh, uh, updates from the IRCC that some college we don't get admission, some college we could get admission, he has to go for PG diploma or masters. We have a lot of confusion on that, what to do, whether, whether we really need to apply for this because we are in a stage where a lot of change happened to my IRCC mm -hmm. and that's how 
admission of help in clarifying those things that we are not impacted for the applicants from inside Canada and we are uh, we can go as what we plan mm-hmm. so and that gives more uh, what do you call uh, confirmation and uh, you know mm-hmm. confidence that we can go ahead with that mm-hmm. that's good yeah. and also um, your brother's application was approved in four weeks even right? less than four weeks yeah less than so four was, weeks February 29th, mm-hmm. they received. We got 23rd of March, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, before so, that, yeah. So it's less than 23 weeks, yeah. <laughs> so, lastly, what can you say to our viewers? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think uh, it's a pretty good organization where uh, you'll get a lot of clarification, clarified, uh, doubts clarified, and uh, you get a lot of support in the process. I, I wish all the uh, students who are applying for you good luck and also this is the right place for uh, inside Canada applications and also outside because they are very experienced in applying study permit. So I would suggest go for a admission hub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time and yes. for your trust. And there you have it. Isn't it amazing and wonderful to hear a success story from one of our clients? If you're interested in converting your visitor visa to study permit, just book a consultation and one of our advisors will guide you all throughout. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on our next video. Thank you so much for being with us here today.